the first thing to understanding people is understanding their culture and their history. Yeah. And that's it. If you understand the culture and the dark magic stuff, it's always been there, but it has never been like this, right? There's always been these things that go on, but there's never been the cult-like following of dark magic in Mexico specifically, because if you think about it, Mexico is, it's a heavy Catholic region. And growing up, I grew up, almost all of my friends were Catholic. I grew up Catholic. And so that's a very just prevalent religion in Mexico. And then they have split off and created this dark magic. And, and how it's being followed by the younger generations reminds me a lot of the gangster rap push back in the mm. 80s. So when gangster rap came around and then all of a sudden you had kids all over the country, yeah, the police and all that stuff. Sorry. Because <laughs> um, we're a podcast, you're okay. <laughs> all right, cool. Uh, uh, but it, it reminds me of that because now you have this cult like following. So these youngsters are watching this and they're like, oh, I want to be a narco and I want to follow that dark magic. And so it, it gets practiced more and more.